Hello guys, and in today's YouTube video, we are going to be talking about Iron Banner, and more specifically, uh, a strategy guide about how to conduct yourself while playing Iron Banner, and more like so, things you should be keeping in mind and be making habits of. So to start, we're going to start with one habit that I think a lot of people do not exercise and just in any any part of the game is like be conscious of like what you're doing. Always try to be doing something. That's like w one tip, one strategy and good habit to have is like when you're on the map, make sure you're either fighting someone, you're like zoning someone or you are <clears throat> capping a zone or aggressing on a zone, things like that. Always, always be doing something on the map. Maximize your, otherwise I'm trying to think of the word for it, your life and everything that you can like accomplish, like try to do the most. Um, and then another tip I would say is to play the zones. Like you gotta cap the zones. Map control is everything in Iron Banner. Having, so you can be sl getting slayed out. As long as you have two zones, you're gonna win. It'd be almost impossible for the enemy team to beat you. They would have to kill you so many times where like, like you're getting two points every kill if you have zone control and if you hold map control you get power ammo most likely and it just snowballs that's one of the like when i'm playing iron banner and i see people like just sitting around not doing anything like not capping his own not shooting at people not getting to angles not going for power ammo it really irritates me because i mean they just they don't understand how to play iron banner it's it's it is control but it is it's different in its own way because when you triple cap obviously that locks the zone for 25 seconds and you know when that happens then you know every point you or every kill you get is three points and that's massive that's like huge and on that topic of when you're triple capped you know every kill you get is three points when you yourself are being triple capped that does not mean okay let me just run out into the open and just give them kills when you're triple capped you want to kind of hunker down you want to play your life you don't want to run out into the open and give the enemy team kills because every time you die that's three points for them and that stuff adds up and the more and more you keep running out and dying when they're triple capped the easier it's going to be for them to win whereas if you hunker down and you know you tick away at their like you know lives and get you know 1.1.1 point, one point, one point on kills and they're not getting any points on their triple cap that's you know ideal you you definitely do not want to like start trying to cap zones or pushing out like you want to you know kind of hold your position and try to kill anyone that comes for you because they're on the hunt you're not the one that needs to be hunting or pushing around to find people you want to play your life and stay alive as best as you can even if that means like just hiding you staying alive is so important in those triple caps so that's a good thing to like think about and one thing to think about too is to use your supers with a purpose and you know going back to what i was saying is like you know you don't you want to make sure you're maximizing like your life and have all that you can accomplish you know and using your supers with a purpose use your abilities with a purpose too you want to be maximizing the use of your abilities and your super you can pretty much defend in a, z a zone that's about to be capped with a super if you play it right and that's that's like for me that's what i try to do when i pick up power ammo like i'll pick up a gallon horn we're on burning shrine the enemy team is like pushing in on the east side they're about to cap the zone and then i'll gallon horn the zone and kill like four people and just like that the enemy team's push onto that zone is completely wiped out and we have complete control of the map once again just because of one well-placed gallon rocket because i had the forethought to think okay if the enemy team pushes in and they might and they might start to get control of the zone i'm just gonna gallon it and kill them all and that way i get all those kills that's tons of two point two point two point kills and then we c continue to control map control and if they push in again, then maybe we'll have a super or something. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have, there's going to be a gameplay video kind of showing example, good examples of that. It's, I loaded into a game late. The game's like almost over and we make a comeback. And how do we win the game? Because I capped zones, I played my life and I made the most of my life. I, you know, maximized what I could do and we were able to slip out a win. Uh, I hope you'll enjoy the last couple minutes of that game and the YouTube video. I'll see you in the gameplay. Peace. We got this, we got this, we got this. This is winnable. This is winnable. I've never lost these. Oh, this is winnable. Definitely winnable. Let's go, baby. Pick it up here, boys. 
zone B. The flames have ignited. Let the wolves hunt. Oh, they got a Disney princess. Ooh, not good. Shot in the back, Let too. the wolves rest. The hunt is over. That might be game there, honestly. That's a boy. If we were able to like an opponent claimed to send so many supers. Opponent claimed zone A. If we were able to like get power ammo and like recap zones, we probably could have won the game there, but you captured zone C. I mean, this is still winnable, actually. Very winnable. If they prevail, it won't be because you let them. Oh, Keep fighting. Come on, come on. You captured zone B. Zone advantage is yours. All of you together, like iron balls. That's two. God damn, this guy is so laggy. I feel like I don't, there's something about him. Need to cap that zone so bad. Hunt is on. Three minutes left. This is winnable, fellas. Another this is winnable. Come soon. Two. Oh my god. That's oh, it. Oh, there we go. Yes. 